to a focus issue. Doctors can now refuse to treat abusive, unruly and violent patients or relatives. That's what the National Medical Commission registered uh, medical practitioner has have said. Uh, taking a major step towards curbing the ongoing instances of violence against medical practitioners. But they must ensure that the patients are not abandoned. Uh, these new regulations will replace the Medical Council of India's Code of Medical Ethics 2002. And this is for the first time that doctors will have the right of refusal of patient treatment to unruly and violent patients. The move is aimed at discouraging violence against doctors. The regulations issued by the NMC in a Gazette notification also bar doctors from endorsing any drug brands, medicine and equipment or advertise them. Uh, so interesting uh, you know, developments there given that you have had cases of doctors facing violent patients as well as their relatives. Now, will this actually help in curbing that to talk more about it? We're joined by Dr. Girish Tyagi, Secretary, Delhi Medical Council, and Ashok Agarwal, Advocate and Advisor, a Social Jurist. Thank you both uh, for joining us. And Dr. Tyagi, first to you. Uh, you. The need uh, for this was, uh, you know, uh, th this notification, this change was brought about because you have more and more instances of doctors being attacked by angry relatives or patients. And uh, this has led to a, a certain amount of insecurity among doctors. There's also been a lot of anger. Yeah. Because uh, the violence against the medical professional is on, is on rise. Every fortnightly we are seeing in the media and the newspaper about that uh, the medical uh, professional or medical staff are being assaulted from the verbal abuse to the, to, to, uh, to the violence. And of course, th this violence is mainly in the government hospital where the, in the casualty and the emergency service, the, the chances are more because the patient relatives came in the casualty with a number of uh, one, with one patient there are uh, sometimes it is 10 to 15 per uh, relatives are there with the patient and if doctor is not there or if nurse is not there whether the negligence or whether that uh, care has been not done properly it is it, it is a matter of uh, dispute but of course once they uh, once they are there and if they are not getting the proper response they they assault the nurse uh, doctor or the medical staff so and of course uh, it is very unfortunate and at least now the do doctor of course in the emergency you cannot refuse the patient this, this is a law you in the if the patient comes in emergency you have to stabilize the patient and of course you according to, to expertise you treat the patient and if, if you are if there are not enough facilities available at your or it is beyond your competence you can refer the patient but in the opd you can refuse the patient if the patient is not complying, your patient is abusive, patient is not complying to your uh, order, not taking things sincerely. Right. And doctor, there's also one aspect that they must ensure the patients are not abandoned. So hand them over to another uh, doctor and ensure that the patients aren't abandoned. Yeah, yeah, definitely. In, in the emergency, you, you in the emergency, you cannot refuse the patient. And of course, when, if you are if the patient is being admitted under you, but... Uh, you are not satisfied with their behavior, they are not complying, then of course you should refer them to us, some competent doctor as for the specialty and uh, of course the patient should not be abandoned, that uh, uh, it is the right thing. Right, uh, uh, Mr. Agarwal, what are your concerns with this? Really it is most unfortunate situation. Uh, of course, uh, violent incidents have increased in the past and uh, in many cases, very badly stabbed uh, the doctors, the patient relatives. Uh, I think something something was required to be done. Uh, if if the patient is abusive, naturally some dose has to be given to him also, and that can be by refusing him treatment. Uh, but I think there should be some counseling, something, some some steps to avoid. Uh, these things as far as possible. Uh, but there may be cases where uh, some serious steps required to be taken. So I think uh, let us uh, see it as an experiment. And But we should keep it in mind that uh, it is our duty as a doctor to uh, take care of patient because even if he is a doquiet, he is a murderer, he is this and that, a doctor cannot refuse to give him treatment. But when he himself is attacking the doctor, then some preventive steps need to be done. So I think uh, 
let us as an experiment uh, this guidelines may be followed right so your concerns are that doctors that, that this could be misused that it could be you know used an excuse to you know not treat certain patients that they may not be interested in uh, treating no uh, normally uh, many many good things uh, are misused in the sour system and we have to find out the solutions also so we cannot say that uh, it is bound to be misused but if it is misused then it can be changed also but at, at as at present the incidents of uh, assaulting doctors by the patient or patient relatives is increasing so some steps need to be taken i think some steps to safeguard the doctors right clearly that is the need of the r because you have a lot of young doctors also coming into the profession and they feel uh, you know they uh, they feel worried when they hear about such incidences uh, dr tyagi how can we ensure uh, that this is not misused not to say that doctors will misuse but in case there are such concerns is this something that can you know there can be a relook at these regulations on the if, if such kind of instances are there and of course if if, we, if if any medical council because the medical council can take action against the doctors if they are uh, taking the shield of uh, such uh, uh, notification and uh, refusing the patient to treat or uh, uh, referring them when, when there is no need so uh, the action can be taken against uh, those doctors at that moment if we, if it comes to the notice of the state medical council of so, so so that disciplinary action can be taken against the doctors if they are misusing it right uh, and uh, mr agarwal do you think that that will suffice and uh, you know because uh, th this is a little controversial there there are already some reactions coming to these new regulations and concerns especially about poorer patients and uh, do you think uh, this is something that now one must be very alert to any sort of misuse of these new uh, regulations no i think that uh, in such a case uh, where doctor is apprehending some assault or is being abused then i think there are senior doctors or medical superintendent is also there some some uh, people in a collective way should take a decision not individual i think if we leave it to the individual then it, the chances of misusing it is more so there should be some uh, some sop for uh, further sop to uh, for refusing treatment to any patient because that that uh, refusing treatment to a patient which he is in need of treatment is a very serious uh, and violation of his right also so we have to be some balance between the rights of the doctors and the rights of the patients that has to be evolved and were there any other measures that you know could be taken in your view uh, that would protect doctors however not you know give them this right of refusal no uh, as mr tyagi is saying that if in case the doctor refusing uh, 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 no, uh, without justification then action can be taken against the doctor and doctors right. know this fact very well and normally doctor don't do this normally and right. particularly in government hospitals uh, they don't do it uh, I, i think in even in the private hospitals doctor as a doctor i don't, don't think they do it but uh, some all these incidents are very unfortunate very unfortunate yes. of course uh, only patients are not responsible if you don't have a proper equipment and a patient is he is in an emergency is waiting for hours crying patient is crying and doctor is not nobody is taking care of them sometimes even patients are justified uh, in, in creating something wrong which is which should not be there But you're saying it Because does lead to anger among the relatives. Ah, the anger, anger, anger. Many times for two hours, suppose, Karo, one pregnant woman is brought, eh, and immediate delivery is required, and she is waiting for the doctor for two hours, three hours. So then, some something, so some 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 solution to in a balanced way, some solution should be there. All we right. We cannot blame entirely the patients. and we cannot entirely blame the doctors also i think some some mechanism to see that uh, doctors are protected at, at the same time the treatment is given to the patients 
All right. Well, thank you both uh, for joining us. So this uh, new regulation, which now gives doctors the right to refuse an unruly patient or a patient with unruly relatives uh, if, if the doctor feels threatened, but he must also ensure that the patients are not abandoned. Hopefully, this will bring down uh, the incidents of violence that we've been seeing against doctors. Every other day, another incident taking place in some part of the country.